Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here today to share with you some altered egg cartons. I love doing these. I did them um, a couple years ago, and I had such a good time, and I decided we'd do it again. I actually was hosting a swap for these in my group, and uh, I ended up with two swap partners, which was kind of fun. So thank you ladies for agreeing to swap. I'm very excited about it. So, you know my obsession with, uh, or maybe you don't, <laughs> pen cushions. I make a lot of pen cushions. So it should come as no surprise that I have turned these egg cartons into pen cushions. So cute. So super cute. And of course, I use a lot of beautiful goodies from Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy. And I will put a link to Kim's shop below, and I will show you the beauties that I used. I actually made the uh, pin cushion out of this beautiful um, vintage fabric that I have. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so me. And well, I started by uh, painting my egg carton. And then I put the pin cushion on the top and then I surrounded it with. Uh, I cut this trim off of like a doily placemat I'm guessing it was so I cut the trim off and then I added the trim all around because I love that I love the way that that looks it's so pretty and then I added this pleated pink tool trim which you can find pleated tool trim at Angel Dream Crafts in all sorts of colors then I added this cute little uh, heart flat back that I have in my stash that I have no idea where it came from it's so cute and then I added this beautiful trim, this flower trim, which goes so perfect with this fabric. You can uh, find that at Angel Dream Crafts. If it's not there, it will be soon because it's on the way. That's so super cute. And then I put some doilies on each end. With, and then um, you can find doilies in the doily mixed doily packs that Kim has. And... Um, on top of that bottom doily, I put one of these shabby white flowers, which I meant to leave one out, but I don't see where it is. But she carries these shabby flowers also in her shop, and then I made like a doily flower on top, and then I added a piece of Angel Dream Crafts bling, because her bling is my favorite. It's got such sparkle. It's such good quality bling. So I added uh, the bling to the flowers. I did that on both sides. I made sari bows, because who doesn't like a sari ribbon bow, uh, for both ends. And you can find all different colors of sari ribbon at Kim's shop as well. And then I made this butterfly embellishment by using a butterfly applique, and then a metal butterfly, and a piece of bling, which you can find um, metal uh grab bags I think she has out over there in the shop and all sorts of beautiful bling pieces. So I tied this one, I tied both of those actually with seam binding, which I was out of pink seam binding to figure, but I think it's all right. So for this one, I used my beautiful tilde papers to kind of decorate the inside with flowers and pearl sprays and cutouts from the paper and stamens and lots of stickles. Which I don't know if those stickles are really coming through. And then I just lined each little cup with these doilies because I just like the way that looks. And of course I'm going to fill the inside with goodies for somebody special. And then I went ahead and made another one because I have another person to send to. And this one I decided to use, I love this blue fabric. Where did I get it? I might have got it from Rosie. Thank you, Rosie, for always having such a great selection of fabrics in your monthly sales. Uh, I think that might be where I got this. I love it. Now, here's the thing, though. Blue is kind of out of my comfort zone, so even though I love this fabric and I wanted to do it, I, as I was creating it, I don't have any blue lace. Like, I don't have, I have tons of pink lace. I have no blue lace at all. So I was like, what? So I did the best I could with what I had. And I decided to um, use, I love the uh, trim from around the uh, crocheted 
placemats, so I did that again on this one. And then I put three layers of eyelet trim. Love eyelet trim. And Kim, of course, has a beautiful assortment of eyelet trims. And then I put this pretty little edging trim around. It's so cute. I love it. So I did the same things with the doilies and the shabby flowers and the doily flower on top with the same bling. I used another one of the butterfly embellishments that I created. And I happen to have blue seam binding, which is odd. I have no blue lace, but I do have some blue seam binding. <laughs> so that's what I'm using for the closure. And on this one, I decided not to do like, a, like I did the other one. I just kept it in more of my style with the doilies, the laces, the beautiful bling dangle heart. I love it. And some blue flowers that were gifted to me um, by Melissa. Thank you so much, Melissa. And I added those and then I put again doilies in the little cups. So it's just cute, right? They're so cute. So they are both uh, stick pins. And you can get stick pins over at Angel Dream Crafts, and you can also get these giant stick pins. So let me see. This one I didn't glue together yet, so I'll take the beads off to show you. Look at this monstrous stick pin. <laughs> I absolutely love these. So I created a stick pin with the blue one. That They come in blue and pink. I think those are the two colors she has. I'm not sure. But then she also has regular sized stick pins if you don't want to make a gigantic stick pin. <laughs> but who doesn't want to make a gigantic stick pin? So this is a pin cushion so you can put all your beautiful stick pins in here. I, I love these. So I'm pretty much figuring out you can make anything into a pin cushion. <laughs> and I am enjoying the process. <laughs> so please leave me a comment and let you know let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to follow the links over to Kim's shop and get some goodies for yourself. And thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you on the next one.